Hello and welcome to episode two of Taco Tuesday. Wow, we get, made it a thing. Getting straight into it. Yeah, Woo. look at that. Woo, two weeks in a row, so now it's a thing. We did it, baby. <laughs> we, can re- we can retire after this week. Yeah. Uh, this episode uh, focuses on a, a game very near and dear to my heart and to yours uh, in, in sure. some capacity. Uh, it is the original Comic Cray Rally you might see it on screen right now. Uh, my name is Cam Shea, by the way. His name is Cam Shea, by the way. My name is Luke Riley. Uh, this is uh, its going to be a regular theme. We're going to be looking into the past uh, of, of the racing genre, some of the most iconic racing games uh, over the past couple of decades. Mm-hmm. Maybe some of, the, some of the worst, some of the best. Hey, Luke, what's the headline for this week's um, piece of content? Because last week was, you know, Burnout 3 is, great, is, is arcade perfection, Yes, right? is, is arcade perfection. I think uh, Colin McRae Rally really, for me, is kind of the, the eternal king off the road. Oh. So is that going to be the headline? Maybe. Colin McRae, the original Colin McRae Rally, king of the road. Yeah, king off the road. King See, off the road. Oh, it. clever. Yeah. Get it. Get because it. we all know Brocky is the king. King of the mountain. Oh, God. I'm so bad at this. Get it together, kid. Yeah. Hey, Luke, why are we playing this on PlayStation? when anybody who's serious about this game played it on PC. <laughs> <laughs> because... Couldn't we be playing at a higher resolution? Possibly. Yeah. Um, because this... Well, because A, I still own it. This is my copy. Uh, yep. Because I... It is kind of cool, yeah, plucking the old PlayStation game out yeah. of your library. It's been sitting there for 20 years and... Yeah, you know, and just checking the back of the box 20. and seeing how it boasts that... Uh, here we go. This is my favourite part of the back of the box. Yep. Twelve laser-modelled World Rally cars. Oh, lasers. They can do anything. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, the future is now. But this this is the game that made me want, crave a PlayStation 1. Right. This is the game. Right. Uh, so you didn't own a PlayStation 1... Until I saw this, and I'm like, I have to have it. Yeah, right. And I desperately, desperately begged uh, my parents to, uh, for a PlayStation 1. They said, you can't get a PlayStation 1. It's too much money. Yep. Uh, and then I begged my sisters to tell them uh, that they wanted them. They wanted one also, oh, so then we could split wow, it. Wow, nice. Yeah, yeah. It was perfect. Um, and then that happened. Um, well, you came into the PlayStation at a, a pretty golden era. I did. Uh, I feel like 1998 was. Or was it 1998? Oh, it's <laughs> kind of interesting, right? Like this game came out in PAL territories in January 98. Yes, that's true. Yeah, January 98. When did 98. it come out in? Silly old Slowpoke America, Luke. Silly old Slowpoke America had to wait for two years. That's insane. Yeah, it is kind of insane. I mean, there were always kind of... Uh, that's At that stage in, in gaming, there were big differences between regional release dates, Yeah, but but yeah, the world was a that, slightly bigger place that back then. That seems kind of absurd. Yeah. But So let's just give some context for like, you know, the first release of this game, January 1998. Yes. Around the same time as Resident Evil 2. Ahead of Gran Turismo. Ahead of Gran Turismo, yes. Ahead of um, Unreal, ahead of F-Zero X, and then later in that year, Metal Gear Solid came out and Ocarina of Time came out. So that this is kind of the gaming landscape we're talking about. But this yeah. game was ahead of Gran Turismo. Yeah. And that's a big that's a big deal because Gran Turismo is one of the first games where you go, wow, this like simulation thing is really serious. But Colin McRae beat it to the punch. And yeah, like it totally wowed me. I didn't know much about rally driving, driving at, this, at that point, but I was like, yeah, there's something so different about this and so authentic about this game, yeah. you know? I think this is what, like, I some of the, one of the things I mentioned is that this Colin McRae rally is not the first rally game by any stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sega Rally really... Oh, big of, time, yeah, yeah. Set that in stone. Yeah. And it remains the sort of the real icon of the genre and, yep. and the really influential game where the, all the rally games that sort of came since obviously looked back on yep. with, with, you know, great respect. It wasn't even the first rally game to hit PlayStation. V Rally predates yep, this. Yep, uh, I V that. Rally came out in '97. Yep. There was Rally Cross that was also '97. I played that too. Yep. Um, and even Milestone, who make the WRC games now, they had a rally game on PC in '97 called Screamer Rally, which Didn't I personally play never played. No. Um, but yeah, but like when, but see, I, I liked when, V Rally and I liked um, yeah, v, rally, well, v Rally was a Rally great game. Cross. Yeah. But this felt like a big step forward to me. Yes. Well, there's also Tommy, Rack- Tommy Mackinnon Rally, yep. which was garbage. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like this this stuff is, this was this was new. Like this kind of nuance where you're like, oh, okay, so I need to I need to choose my setup. I do like dry grooves, Luke. Yeah, dry grooves. Yeah. Uh, 
And then between stages, I'm only playing one stage right now, but between stages, you'd have to allocate time to your repairs, mm -hmm. just like a real rally car. Mm -hmm. uh, and you, you only get a certain amount of time to do those repairs, mm -hmm. just like uh, in, a, in a real rally. Mm -hmm. And if you couldn't repair the car fully, you couldn't repair the car fully. You just race to the next race yep. with the damage uh, that you'd already accrued. Yep. So, yeah, this I mean, this game was um, it was phenomenal. Like one of the things that surprised me actually when I when I started playing this recently a couple of days ago, is not not it, it's still it looks terrible now because yeah. it's 18 years old, 17 yeah. years old. But I was surprised at how Five, kind of uh, three, fun the handling two, still is. Oh, that's one, good. Yeah. Go. Because that's that that's what that made it. Obviously. Yeah, totally. Oh, hang on a second. What? Wait, we got to do the old uh, the old analogery do. <laughs> <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you just play it um, digital? Digital? Come on. What am I a peasant? Well, yeah, but you're not you're not playing with a wheel or anything, so might as well slum it. <laughs> no, I had a I, I, come on, man. I had a dual shock when I was in in ninety eight. All right, okay. Uh, here we go. Where am I? Here we go. Um, yeah. And then, you know, so the, the handling the still feels feels pretty good. I mean, it's kind of. Square right, don't it seems like it kind of looks like it's got a lot of lot of weight. No, not 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 a great deal of weight, I guess. It doesn't, doesn't feel like the car is really connected mm. to the ground. But although that, that's a little unfair. Like there is. You know, you, you don't have to break a great deal. Mm. You kind of just get the car sideways and accelerate through the corner. Mm. Um, but yeah, man, like this this game just absolutely ruled my life for at least well, I mean, God, at least until the second one came out, which, yeah. was, which was not that far down the track. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that, this is uh, this is New Zealand, yep. which we are racing um, to celebrate our wonderful colleague who we love very much. Lucy O'Brien. <laughs> Not because it's the very first stage in the game. This is in honour of the World Cup and um, we're, we're, just, we're just a couple of Aussies driving all over your country. What do you think of that? But Stomping yeah. all over it. Um, so this was... I drive it. Yeah, this, this was my bag. This is my jam. Yeah. Look at those, look at those square thumbs. Look at that. But yeah, he's changing the gears, Cam. That Look at is, that. That is pretty sweet. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, 17 years ago, that was the best thing I've ever seen. Yeah. I mean, it, the thing is, it still looks okay. Yeah, well, it's, look at it. Look how smooth it is. Like, it's it's really, you know, I feel like you can tell now just how impressive this was at the time. Yeah. Uh, back in time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially, like, you know, V-Rally was a great game, but that was, a, that was a very much an arcade experience. You're racing other cars on the track at the same time. This was a real pure rally experience. Mm. And I think this is this is the kind of place that uh, Codemasters has gone back to look at with, um, I think, a lot more scrutiny yeah, as the built Dirt Rally, which is now available on PC yeah. and is definitely sort of the most hardcore rally game that Codemasters has ever made. And it's got all of these kind of, all of that stuff begun here. The genesis of all of that was, was this. Um, I love it how, yeah, stuff kind of disappears and then it comes back and we get excited about it even though it's really just... Yeah, that's yeah, true, yeah. The way it used to be. Yeah, we, we already had all that. You know, we had cars having to be repaired between stages and, and, and so on and so forth. So we had Cabin View and <laughs> then Codemasters took that away. Are there any memorable um, water splashes in this game you'd like to show me? <laughs> Hey! There we go. Talk about timing. Yeah. I didn't see a great big. It, you didn't have a quite as. I should have been in the external. external yeah, camp. that's yeah, that's right. You're, oh, you're, no. You didn't. You didn't have quite the same reaction as you did. Well, you know, it's, it's kind of. Wait, when was it? It's past. Oh, that was dirt rally. That's dirt right. rally. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Dirt, yeah. If you haven't played, if you have a PC, uh, and you you can you know spare thirty bucks. Look at that. Three minutes thirty. Creamed it. Um. You really ought to pick up uh, Dirt Rally. Yeah, on if you Steam, like if you like your, your your old school purist rally games. Yeah, definitely. It's um it's doing it right, and uh this is just this perfect encapsulation of like this is the genesis, and then that's kind of like where we are seventeen years later. Yeah.
And it's it's, it's kind of it's difficult. It's, it's I guess it's a little difficult to dis disassociate uh, the way you feel about certain time periods and, and that stuff to the way you feel about the games of that time period. Mm. But for me, uh, the late nineties was like the best time in rally. Like, mm. I wasn't alive during the eighties when Group Group B. Mm -hmm. like, I was I was like an infant baby. Yep. Group B yep. with that, the legendary Group B cars and that very much everyone says that is the golden era of rally and I don't disagree but I wasn't sentient during that period and so the late 90s where you had the Impressors versus the Lancers and you had Colin McRae and Tommy Mackin and all those guys that was the period of time where I feel like WLC was most exciting and this game was right smack in the peak of that yeah. time um, so you know it's it's one, and actually, one of the other things, I'll have to wait till this loads up and, and uh, boots past, but one of the other things that I want to show you now is that this is when developers remembered cheats. Ah, excellent. I think I might know the cheat you're talking about. Yeah, even yeah. even novelty cheats. Um, yeah, but I, I, there's, we don't have enough, enough time to go through them all, but there was, um, yeah, there was a hover car cheat, which the car would raise up and... The wheels would fold out, mm -hmm. just like the you know DeLorean and all kind of stuff. There was the jelly car cheat where the car was turned into <laughs> jelly. And all. Yeah, you'll actually get a glimpse of that in a minute. Um, but yeah, this next one is probably my my, my favorite because you could. Um, what happened? I that that was the. Oh, I see. I see the see, right. screen screen save. Basically. Right. Uh, where we go? We go to. Let's just go Australia. Yep, go Australia. And maybe change the car. Yeah, see, see, one of these classics. Yeah, see, I, I kind of like because they're kind of classic to me too, but only in the sense that I've played so many racing games. Racing games, them. yeah, exactly. But like, yeah. I think we're gonna have this conversation a lot in this series where it's like you're like invested in like the real life cars and the real life sport, whereas I just because I'm not a motorsports guy, yeah. um, they're iconic to me for a completely different reason. Yeah. Um, check it out. So I can see, I can even remember the cheats, man. Wait, here we go. <laughs> I just can't can you spell? Can I spell? I'll just do this just to make sure we can get to the stage that I need to get to. I need to get to stage two in Australia. Okay. So open roads, cheat mode, cheat mode enabled. Boom. Uh, but then you type in Knight Rider, and all of a sudden all of the stages can be played at night. That was, and that was only accessible via a cheat? Well, some of the stages were set at night anyway. Yeah, okay. But this turned all the stages into night. There oh. was also a mode you could uh, activate to mirror all the stages. Yep. Um, which, you know, kind of doubled the content, I guess, in theory. In a Ridge Racer sense. Yeah. <laughs> cheat mode enabled. Player one will do. Uh, stage two. Here we go. So now, um, I, I, I guess this is us taking our um, World Cup victory lap around Australia. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's the yeah the, the, the ticker tape parade. Ticker tape parade. Aussie style. Probably. Yeah. Do a pub crawl, I guess. Yeah. What are these loading times? You're the designated driver, just by the way. Yeah. Um, th that's about 30 times faster than Bloodborne. Yeah. What a long way we've come. <laughs> Five, four, oh, so three, switch back to two, one, go. Two, right. There we go. Back you, to you gotta pay attention to those pace right. notes, Luke. Yeah, I know. Three. <laughs> <laughs> well, the draw distance, guys. <laughs> this is like playing uh, Turok Dinosaur Under. Yeah, In cars. Square left. Fence. Oh, oh dear. No. Back it up. Here we go. It's just after, I think it's just before the second checkpoint. Yep. So it's not too far along right. the yeah. stage. I can't see anything. Yeah, I also like it how suddenly the glare on our TV yeah. has become a real issue. Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, that is it had it actually. All I can see is my face. Yep. And what a beautiful face it is. I Thanks, Sam. So. Yeah. You can have to say that, but I really appreciate it. Hey, it was what we were both thinking. Yeah. So, I just uh, vocalized that. There's a ball by four up. Four right. Yeah. No. Oh, that Water's moon is right. so oh, is. clear in the sky. It's yeah. so clearly a sphere. Right. All right, here we go. Where are you going, Luke? I don't know. Off the beat track. 
man. Back in the day Wait. when... What's happened? Uh-oh. You see, you can hear the car turning over. But you can't, because I haven't, turned the, I haven't turned the volume up loud enough. I'm going to assume I can hear the yeah. car turning over. What? Oh, it gives you another one. Yeah, it gives you another cheat. And then, like I said, now it's 10 minutes later. That's awesome. Yeah. And now my car's jelly. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I. Oh, there, there you go. There's a water splash. Yeah, yeah. Cutting edge water splash. Cutting edge. I was going to say edge. before, like, you forget, like, with these early PlayStation games, how much the the kind of the seams in the polygons yeah, are yeah. clearly visible and how, like, all these 3D surfaces just kind of shift and, and, and morph around. Yeah. Um, but man. At the time, yeah, this was it, just, it just didn't matter. No, it didn't matter. You just, you, you just, you dealt with it. At the time, it was the best thing you'd ever seen, you know. Like so, I mean, that times change. I guess one, one thing I, I should, I should add, and it's, and it's certainly not a joke. Mm. Um, but I, you know, a lot of people, you know, say, oh, you know, I remember the day, you know, John Lennon was shot and all that kind of stuff, and I can remember vividly. When I the, the day that I heard I, I heard on the radio actually that Colin McRae had died, yeah, you know, in a bit like a horrible horrible accident, which um, his son like terribly his son also uh, perished in. Uh, and I, yeah, I was driving home from work and I was like in the car and I was just about home. I was just a few kilometers away from home mm. and I heard it on the radio. And it was just like it was it was kind of, it was devastating. You know, like I I was kind of I was never a hardcore rally enthusiast, but I really liked watching it. Um, and these games were really important to me. Mm. And and when I heard that, I was just like, that is, that is such an enormous bummer. You know what I mean? Like, there are well, these kind of icons are meant to be, you know, they they define the sport. They yeah. they they embody the sport. Like, how can somebody that like that, mm. you know, no longer be around? And you know, yeah. So yeah, and then, but yeah, no, it, but the games have continued. Uh, in, in sort of varying, in varying ways, like I was was a big fan of first Dirt. I, I kind of didn't really like the second much. Um, dirt three, I was a big fan of. Uh, dirt Showdown, I thought was kind of a misstep. Um, yep. But I think Codemasters have really, they really got onto something good with um, with Dirt Rally now. Just even like the way the uh, the pace notes were. Yeah. Here's a piece of trivia, right? Yeah, I just yeah. found out of this surely a uh, short time ago. The pace notes were recorded, um, but they had a guy in like a motion seat that was like ratcheted up to 11, mm. and he was recording them as the stage was sort of, sort of, sort of happening. So all of the bumps and like, uh, you know, hard G forces that are, that are occurring at the time, all of that dialogue was being delivered during those bumps and what? yeah 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 so that's why it sounds so authentic like as it I'm playing seem, it, it seems so unnecessary no I, but, I mean I love it conceptually yeah. but, but when you play it it actually you actually sort of you actually sort of, sort of, you sort of hear it yeah right um, but yeah anyway that is that's cool yeah that is Dirt Rally you should you should definitely play that this is Colin <laughs> McRae this is Colin McRae Rally uh, the original yep and and that was a terrifying stage in the dark. Yeah, it was actually. I gotta say, that's not a cheat I would enable very often unless I want to get taken by aliens. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, for you know, for for, for more classic uh, retro racing game content, tune in to us uh, every Tuesday. I'm not sure what's going to be next week. It'll be a surprise. I, I have an idea about what it'll be. Cam has an idea what it's going to be. Yep. Uh, but, uh, yep, let us know on Twitter, uh, at Mr. Luke Riley or at Jazz Abration. Yep. If there's any, you, you guys have uh, already suggested a whole bunch of our Twitters uh, since our burn episode last week, so keep them coming. Yep, uh, we've, got a, we've got a master list happening, and we're just going to start kicking them off. Yeah, definitely. Otherwise, we'll speak to you in a week. Bye. Bye.